favorites good morning how are you all doing hope you slept well yeah i'm saying good morning because this is morning i'm making this video in the morning this is like um past seven i woke up by some minutes past six and i was about to jump into the shower i remember that I said i was going to film and show you guys my morning routine I'll be showing you guys the products I use generally on my face. I actually woke up with a bad guy here. I don't know if you can see him. Me, I'm an advocate for not touching your face. So I'm definitely not going to be touching it. It's going to go back just the way it came. What I do most times when I have pimple on my face, I just put on the Radiance about soap on it. Leave it for some time, then wash it off. That's just my trick. I don't have any particular thing I use to fight pimples when it comes. Just that the soap I use fights blemishes. So it tackles all this type of thing. This video is as raw as it can get. It's unfiltered. I'm using my phone to record this. Let's get right into my simple minimalist money care routine use the radiance about soap just the radiance about soap this is in liquid form then this is the same soap in paste form what is here is what is here the difference is this is in liquid form and this is in paste form some people don't like paste soap they see it as stress the liquid is user friendly you just pour it and use and it does exact job. Very beautiful and very powerful. This soap right here is the deal. The paste is more economical. It lasts way longer than the liquid. But a lot of people, especially guys, guys love the liquid. You know, men, they don't like stress. They, they, they are not about to be bothered at all. They rather go for the liquid. I use both because I know that they do the exact same thing. It's just that for convenience sake, you know, for the, for the paste, you have to scoop out and put on your sponge. While for the liquid, is you already know, it's like a wash. It's very easy. It's very easy. You just pour directly on your sponge this is an african black soap made into a glow soap it has a lot of skin benefits in it it helps to fight blemishes skin, like your pimples eczema cirrhosis if you're a constant user of this soap it helps to fight those blemishes and it helps to even out skin tone and a clearer skin since 2020 i started using this product i have not stopped using this product this is the only soap that I use on my face and on my body. It doesn't lighten you. So just in case you're looking for a soap to lighten you, this one doesn't lighten. It's just a glow soap. What does glow soap do? Glow soap just takes away the dullness from your skin. Your skin begins to radiate. Your skin begins to shine through. That is what glow soap does. And when something is giving you a clearer skin, automatically you look brighter, right? But not lighter lighter is totally different from brighter products that promise you whitening they are products that give you two three shades uh, more than your current skin tone that is what a whitening does then glow product what they do is just even out your skin tone give you a clearer skin and help fight blemishes on the skin my husband does not like this one he doesn't like the paste because i remember the first time he started using it it was like the paste is too much stress. I wasn't surprised because before he started using the products, I have uh, male customers that buy the liquid. They don't like the paste. He said he prefers the liquid. So since then, he uses just the liquid. A lot of our male customers use just the liquid because it's stress-free. No men don't like stress. He has been using this soap non-stop for over a year now. He loves it. And he's dark-skinned and... The product has not made him lighter he just has a yummy skin like my husband's skin is so you know those dark skin that has look that looks so yummy looks so rich looks so healthy that is what our product does for you and this is what 
I will be using today. This is like my travel body. Anytime I'm on a trip, this is what I take with me because I feel like it's easier. It's easier to carry around. And this is what I use in the house every day. Why? Because this is always just inside my shower. It's easy for me. After cleansing your face, the next thing you need to do is to tone your face. This is a water-based toner, so it does it automatically. You know that it doesn't dry out the skin. It's for all skin type, very mild. What it does is helps to balance the skin pH, helps to close the open pores, it helps to freshen up the skin. And this one has chamomile, it has rose water, and some other herbal extract. So this is filled with different skin benefits. This is my go-to toner. So I use the vitamin C serum. This is from Etoile Beauty. It's a Nigerian brand. Very good product. This is my first bottle. This one is finished. I just got this one recently. Very good vitamin C serum. It's not harsh. That is why I had to buy again because my skin doesn't do well with harsh product. Any product that is harsh, I run away from it. I use this during the days. So the days I need more hydration, maybe the weather is drying, the weather feels dry. I do uh, double moisturizing. I use the Essence, Cos RS Essence and Moisturizer. I use both and I use my sunscreen. I use this moisturizer when I don't want to use my face cream during the day because my face cream has a uh, brightening ingredients in it. So I don't use it all the time during the day. So I use it during the day if I don't have uh, a long day outside and I don't need to be in the sun for too long. So I prefer to use my face cream at night. So this I know that I'm going to be in the sun for a long time. I use just a moisturizer and my sunscreen. This is our face cream. For this face cream, I use it during the day when I know that I don't really have outdoor activities during the day. It's not like you cannot use the face cream during the day. You can. It's a morning and night face cream. But for personal preference, I don't like using products that have brightening and lightening ingredients in them during the day, especially when I know that I'm going to be in the sun for so long. I don't like to stress my skin. I don't like to stress my products. After a long day in the sun, I come back with my shower. Then I go generously with this face cream to help my skin from all the sun that must have hit me throughout the day. The days that I'm going to be outdoor for a long time, these are my duos and my sunscreen. What this face cream does is it moisturizes, brightens, helps to fight hyperpigmentation, gives you a clearer glowing skin. You can see that I don't have much routines. My routines are very simple and precise. I understand how the weather works. I understand what to use at a particular time. So knowing what to use at a particular time of the day is really important. Be observant of the weather on your skin is very important to guide you on what to use on your skin. So that being said, I think I should show you guys my body um, oils because I already showed you the soap I use for my body and my face. I don't have a special soap for face. Some people have face soap. I don't have face soap because my soap is mild enough for body and face. This is the Beauty Struck glow oil so this is our glow oil this glow oil is holy grail for everybody's for every skin tone light dark white brown whatever skin tone you have it's for everybody and this does not change your skin tone at all this is just a glow oil it keeps the skin hydrated helps to fight blemishes and gives you a clearer glowing skin and we have the vibrant skin lightning oil so what this does is to brighten up the skin gradually Please note I said gradually. It's not a product that once you use one bottle, you expect magic. No, none of our products are magic products. What it does is to brighten up your skin tone. I use this too. I always advise people to get it too. Why? Because this is best used at night. I always advise people to use any product that has lightening and brightening ingredients in them at night. I use this every single day. During the day, I use this at night. These two are the baddest oil ever. They are best sellers, perfect for all skin tones. This one is perfect for people that 
caramel to fair to light skin people some dark skin people use it because it's definitely not going to make you lighter it's just going to make you brighter with constant usage this is mine because of the label you can't see it's almost um running out this is mine see it's almost finished Before you use herbal soaps on your face always wet your skin first don't apply soap or directly on a dry face it's not advisable the next thing i'm going to do is just take a little bit of this one just a little is enough this is the size i'm going to be using a little goes a long way because it forms a lot so i'm just going to rub it on my palm see when you rub it on your palm then you massage it on your face So whatever you put on your face, always bring it down to your neck. I'm paying extra attention to this side because of that pimple. I'm done rinsing out my face. Can you see the difference? So what I want to do now is I'm going to take a paper towel. I prefer to use paper towels on my face. So I'm going to use paper towel. I'm going to go in with the toner now. I'm using the lighting from the window. So what I do is I just pat in the toner into my skin. To dry down a little bit. I'm going to go in with the serum, the vitamin C serum now. Take this. So it runs down pretty fast because it's lightweight. I told you this is like a soothing serum, vitamin C serum, very lightweight. So I bring it down to my neck. So I've got a very sensitive face. It gets right easily, even by just rubbing it, it gets right easily. So you will know that your vitamin C is ready to accept another product. It becomes a bit tacky. This is good now. Then I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail face cream. I think how it's easily absorbed into the skin. So if I was using this face cream at night, I would not go in with sunscreen. I don't use sunscreen at night. You see the glow? Next, I'm going to go in with the sunscreen. This is called Bondi Sand. I got it from my friend Vim Essential. It must have. It doesn't leave white cast and it's SPF 50. Going in with... Then the little on my hand, I'm just going to massage it. You see how this sunscreen melts into the skin. I don't apply sunscreen under my eyes. After some time, my face redness is going to calm down. Now, because of the pressure I'm applying on the skin, so that's what's making it to get red. this will be all about my face routine my daily face routine i already told you my ninth routine is not so different from this the only difference is i don't use vitamin c serum at night i don't use sunscreen at night so that'll be only thing missing from this routine for my ninth um routine right? this is all i do on my face because obviously i don't have a lot of skin concerns and yeah so if you have skin concerns let's say if you're acne prone you need a little bit extra steps to do with your product if you notice the redness is coming down gradually compared to when i i was applying pressure on my skin so yeah this is it it's my daily routine and i hope you enjoyed it thank you all for watching to this point i hope you enjoyed this uh, mini face routine
let me know in the comment section what you think thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video